y'all, it's Katie, and welcome back to Kate Miss. Today is a very special day, not only because it's another day in the 25 days of Kate Miss, but it's also a collab video I'm doing with my friend Amy Loves Makeup here on YouTube. If you are not familiar with Amy's channel, part of me assumes that just about everyone knows about Amy's channel, but just in case you don't, Amy Loves Makeup is a beautiful, wonderful, sweet, adorable, absolutely fantastic beauty YouTuber here on YouTube, and we've connected over the years of both doing YouTube. Um, I forget when I found her, how I found her, but ever since I found her, I have been in love with her channel. She is very in-depth and informative, and she focuses a lot more on indie brands. I mean, she does a variety of brands, both indie and mainstream, drugstore, high-end. She covers a wide variety on her uh, YouTube channel, but she does focus on indie brands, and she runs the Instagram uh, account, Indie Makeup Spotlight. So if you're ever wondering and like wanting to stay up or just discover new indie brands that you weren't aware of before. I will leave her Instagram account, Indie Makeup Spotlight, down below, and she always shares new launches from indie brands. It just gives indie brands the spotlight, kind of like Trend Mood, but for indie, and she's really good at always crediting whoever lets her know, unlike Trend Mood. Anyway, um, but yeah, Amy Loves Makeup is just a fantastic YouTuber. I highly encourage you to go check her out. I wanted to collab with her because it's been one of those things in the back of my mind, like, yeah, we really need to collab. We've never done a video together, and so I reached out to her, and we are now doing today's collab together. Her channel will be linked down below along with a direct link to uh, her video that we're doing in collaboration. But today we wanted to do the my favorite shadows from, we decided to do my favorite brands. I've seen a lot of videos going around of my favorite shadows from like all my palettes, but I just have too many palettes to do that. Like I have a huge stack in front of me and that's probably like a quarter of my eyeshadow palette collection. So I reached out to her and I was like, you want to do that like my favorite shadow, but only like really pick our favorite palettes just so we have a somewhat, um, somewhat I should say, decent pile of nothing too large. And she was like, yes, let's do that. So I just went through my eyeshadow palette collection and anything that was like, oh yes, I really like that palette. I pulled and that is why I considered a favorite of mine. I really hope I haven't left any out or just forgotten about any. I am leaving out all of my Juvia's Place palettes because I kind of did this same idea in a creating my own Juvia's Place palette, which I can leave linked up here. So that's why you see my Tribe palette is still up there, but everything else is bare. So yeah, I left out all of the Juvia's Place palettes. And then I also left out my Maybe Cosmetics palettes, which I have four of because I'm going to do kind of the same, in the same vein as the Tribe palette, I'm going to create my own Maybe Cosmetics palette with those. So you'll see my favorite shadows from those palettes in that video later on this month, hopefully. But yeah, today we have, I didn't even count, but we have a ton of palettes in front of me. And why don't we just go ahead and jump right into it and see what sort of color story that'll come from swatching the favorite eyeshadow in all of my favorite palettes. Okay, so I have about 20 palettes, I think, and going in no particular order, I'm just gonna grab from the top of the stack and get started. Um, first up, I picked the Dose of Colors, a Sassy Sienna's palette. I really enjoyed this palette, even though it's just a very simple palette of five shadows, and they're all matte. It's a fun color story, and the shades are a lot more, these shades are a lot more neon and poppy than you would imagine. So when I open this, my favorite shadow immediately that I see is this shade right here, which I think is called Brassy. I never know which way to, to read it when I look at it, but it is this shade right here, so that is going to be my first color. It pops out. It's always my favorite one to work with or to use in a look whenever I reach for this palette in particular. Should probably have started higher since I have so many palettes, but there it is. Just a really pretty, bright, vibrant, peachy orange. It's not really orange, but it's not really peach. I don't know. It's a sassy sienna, I guess you would say, but overall it's just a gorgeous shade, and that is an easy one for me because anytime I reach for that palette, that is the one. this is the shadow I inevitably tried to put in a look because it's just so beautiful. Next up, I have the Sun's Blazing from Flower Beauty. This was a really nice palette. Uh, oh, this is a hard one. Mm, which one do I really... These two are really catching my attention. The two yellows. Uh, I think I'm going to go with the Shimmery Yellow. Maybe? I'm going to swatch them to see. Oh, no, I really like that matte yellow. That matte yellow was a dream to work with, so I'm going to go with the matte yellow in that palette for my pick. The uh, the shimmery one was pretty, but it's a lot more 
kind of like a topper or just takes a while to build up if I remember right. It wasn't as pigmented, but this matte was really, really nice, especially for the drugstore. It was one of, you know, the first kind of really matte yellows that was like, wow, that's really nice. And I enjoyed it. Definitely needs a base because right now it's not looking as vibrant as it can, but it's really pretty. So yeah, that is from the Flower Beauty Sun's Blazing palette. Okay, next up I have my ColourPop palette. This is the My Little Pony, got in a BoxyCharm like a year or two ago. This palette I just remember having so much fun with. Ah, what shade just pops? Hmm. You know what, I'm gonna go with this shade. It's like a duochrome. It's like an icy blue, or icy like, white blue yeah it's got some blue reflex in it it's very flaky i don't really remember using it but i'm gonna bet that i always use it as an inner corner highlight because that's really that's really pretty yeah it's definitely like icy purple bluish that's beautiful that's a gorgeous shade i almost picked the orangey yellow this one but it's more of a peach with the reflex of maybe yellow i don't know looking at here it looks very gold but in the pan looking at it from this angle it's more of a peach so I think that's why I wasn't super drawn to it, but this is a gorgeous color. It would be a really pretty inner corner highlight, which makes me think of Amy because she is the queen of inner corner highlights. If you want some good recommendations, check out Amy's videos because she's done a couple on inner corner highlights. Okay, next we have the ColourPop Yes Please palette. This was, I think, one of their first. I don't think it was their first, but it was one of the first palettes that they came out with, and I love the color story, obviously. The shade I always reach for when I open this palette is that yellow. That yellow is stunning. I'm going to swatch it. I feel like we're keeping kind of to the same color story as my Juvia's Place palettes. There we go. Yeah, more of like a grungy mustard yellow, whereas this is like more of a true yellow. Doesn't really come across on camera, but in person, definitely more of a mustard shade. And this is a gorgeous palette. Definitely enjoyed it and kind of started my loves for yellows because I remember doing a look with the matte yellow all over the lid and I was like, ooh, I really like this. And that's that's where my love for yellow matte eyeshadows began. Okay, next we have the Colored Rain Safari Rain palette. This is a newer one for me at least. Um, I just tried this past month. Let's see, which one do I like? When I open this, honestly, this is a hard one because I love the greens, these two greens, but the Lioness and Toucan are also really, really pretty. Decisions, decisions. I think I'm going to go with Lioness because that was, that was gorgeous, really vibrant and bright. I remember being so surprised with just how intense it was. Oh yeah, like liquid. Look at that. That is so pretty. So beautiful. So that is an easy one. If I had to pick another one, I probably would have done probably this green because it is also very, very pretty. And then this is another close second. Like I said, this is also stunning. They're all very pretty. This palette is very nice. I don't think I've done my reviews for last month, November. All the palettes I tried from November. So this uh, review on this will be coming very soon. Next, I have the ABH Subculture palette. Uh, this is kind of what started my love of grungy colors. I feel like it really introduced me. There wasn't a whole lot of grunge, at least in the mainstream market, maybe so more in the indie, but I wasn't super into the indie market when this first came out so when I saw this uh, ABH released this I was just like oh my goodness that's gorgeous and I can tell you that the one color I would always try to use in this palette is edge even over the greens that really mustard grungy dirty looking yellow always the one my eyes went to first look at that so intense beautiful 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 if I had to pick another one it would probably be electric and then probably Destiny next. One of these two were also high favorites of mine. I always use this as an inner corner highlight, and then I love to use this in the crease with this on the lid. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, that would be my pick. So here's what we got looking so far. Okay, then I have the Mize Cosmetics Lemonade Palette. This is another one that I will be reviewing from my palettes I tried out this past month. The one shadow that immediately grabs my attention. Ugh. It's always a toss-up for me what grabs my attention, whether I'm in the mood or just really drawn more to mattes or shimmers, because like in this palette, the matte that grabs me is this, but the shimmer that grabs me every time is this. This is so very pretty. This is gorgeous. I used it one day as a, like a face highlight. It was beautiful, but I think I'm going to go with the matte yellow, because that is the one, honestly, that I'm always in the mood to use. It's so very bright and beautiful. Let's see. 
Look at that. I feel like I'm choosing more yellows. Maybe it's just my mood recently. I feel like I'm choosing more yellows in the palettes than really the greens that have been in the palettes so far. But look how bright and beautiful that yellow is. Even a lot more intense than that Flower Beauty one. Next up is the Menagerie Killer Purr palette. I'll also have a review on this. Lots of reviews to do, um, but here's what she looks like. Can you guess what shadow that grabbed me? Honestly, like right away, almost drought, but it's more of a like a, like a white highlight, almost pastel kind of yellow. So honestly, the, this green is kind of has my heart, though I really like the orange in here. The orange in here is absolutely amazing. But I'm going to go with the green because that is instantly what catches my attention each and every time. This green bo boa bob, whatever it's called. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at that. Mm. Absolutely gorgeous. Review coming soon on all three of those. All three of these palettes I'm due with reviews. Hopefully we'll be recording them soon. But stay tuned for those. Okay, next up for the Kaleidos Futurism 1 Sci-Fi Greens palette. Er, let's open you up and see the shade in here that always grabbed me is this one. Look how beautiful that is. Their metallics are really, really nice. Their mattes are also nice, but watch this. Look at that. So intense and shiny. So shiny. Ah, it's so beautiful. So how many? I have three shimmers and the rest mattes. So that's what my favorite shadows from my favorite palettes are looking like so far. Okay, anyone remember the next grind palette? I don't know why they discontinued it because it was absolutely gorgeous and the formula was really, really nice, but they did. Um, the shadow that I love to use out of this is this shade right here. This always grabbed my attention anytime I would open it. It's beautiful. This mustard color, I like the mustards, I guess. It's more brown, but it's got a mustard look to it. I don't know. Something about that shadow mm, would grab me. Ooh, these three together would look really pretty. Anyway, yes, that is definitely the one I use the most, the one I reach for the most, and the one my eye goes to first when I grab for this palette. Okay, now we're going to go on to the Gemini palette from Melt Cosmetics. I'm going to try to open this very carefully because I do know my Gemini was crumbling. Um, so very carefully, here is what we have. Ah, it, this is a tough because these, three, these four up here, all is what my eyes would be immediately drawn to. Uh, honestly, it's a toss-up between Fire OG and Moki. I really like that. Once again, weird kind of mustard, dirty yellow mustard greenish color. Or Fire OG. I'm tempted to go with Moki just because I know it was easier to work with. Fire OG, if I remember correctly, would always, could end up being a little patchy if I wasn't careful, but I really like Fire OG. This palette is a mess. I need to clean it up. We're going to go with Fire OG just because I really do like that type of that type of green. It's really pretty. And if it's a beautiful color, I don't mind working with it a little bit more. So let me set that over there so I don't get confused. But here's what we got for Fire OG. It almost doesn't come across as green in camera, almost just brown. But it is definitely, oops, making a mess. It's like a dirty hunter camo something type of green. Really pretty. Like I said, I don't know why it's so brown. It's green. I promise you. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous color. I kind of wish I could have also have picked Moki because that's also a beautiful color. Next up, we have the Too Faced Chocolate Gold. Even though this palette is kind of boring because it doesn't have very many mattes, especially for me now, look at those shimmers. Look at those metallics. They are amazingly beautiful. And my favorite, while it does have some greens in here, my favorite shade to use was the chocolate gold. That, just watch how beautiful. If I remember correctly, it's been a long time since I've used this palette, but I remember getting this right after Gideon was born and wearing it a lot right after he was born. I feel like I'm going sideways here, but anyway, that was just one pass. Oh, so beautiful. Look at that. That's such a gorgeous shade. I, I've been wanting to pull it out, mainly for the metallics. Um, honestly, the uh, the mattes in it here would probably bore me to tears, but if I could use this in conjunction with another colorful matte palette, I feel like you get, could get some really pretty looks out of it. And yeah, it was just a really good formula. Really, oh, I forgot Drippin' Diamonds. Look at that. Oh, so pretty. Yeah, a lot of really good metallics in here. 
All right, next I have the Gimme Glow a Juicy Olive Palette. This is a gorgeous palette, full of greens. And while there's lots of mattes, the whole palette, you guys know, is a favorite, but the one that catches my eye and is definitely top favorite for me from this palette has got to be this one right here, Garnish. It is so amazingly beautiful. Oh, their metallic formula is just like butter. Let me make sure I'm in frame here. Look at that. Oh, it's so pretty. I'm really liking this color story. The orange is like, look at that. That color story is beautiful. The orange is kind of throwing it off. But uh, hey, it was a favorite palette of mine. It was really hard to pick which palette should be my favorite because there's many. It's like, oh, that's pretty. But... When I thought about it again, I was like, nah, you know, it's it's nice, but I wouldn't call it a favorite. All of these that I'm swatching now, it's like I tried to talk myself out of it being a favorite, and I was like, oh, no, Katie, you really do like it. So that's kind of how I determined which palettes were favorites and which palettes weren't. Okay, next I have the Lethal Cosmetics Hive Collection. I know this is a collection of singles, but in my mind, in my heart, I always consider this a palette, and I even keep it with my palettes. So I'm considering it a palette. And if you can't guess... Can you guess? Well, I love these two mattes. This captures my attention and my heart every time I reach for this. And it's a green, like it's a bright, vivid green that's really easy to work with. Like I, I know the Ferro palette has a green like this, but it's not that easy to work with. This is just so buttery smooth. I never have any issues. I'm running out of real estate here. Let's try and put it on and also stay in frame. Let me get a little bit more because I didn't start all the way over here. There we go. Look at that, so, so pretty. Yeah, this is a beautiful color story. I might have to start coming up my hand because I feel like I should fit, I should fit it all, but I'm starting to run out of room. Next, I have the Olimar Cosmetics palette. This is their Rene del Caribe Volume 1 palette. We got in a boxy charm, And this is a really fun palette. It's simple, there's not, you know, it's not a huge palette, but their, their shimmer formula is really is really spot on and their mattes are nice. I remember having a little bit of trouble with these, but overall, nice palette. This, however, the most amazing. Uh, El Malcon. Sorry to anyone who knows how to properly pronounce that, but I obviously don't. Look at that. Oh my goodness. This is such a beautiful shade, and I've been thinking about this palette a lot recently just because I want to reach in and grab that color because look how beautiful it is. Okay, we are nearing the end. The next I have the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill Armed and Gorgeous palette. I know Jaclyn Hill is not popular to me, not really a fan of her, but I did buy this palette. I did really enjoy this palette, so I had to pick it because this color story is the reason I actually purchased anything from her collapse. I think this is the only... Jaclyn Hill collab I've ever bought. I think it is. But anyway, um, hmm. This color story is like all my favorites, but I'm trying to figure out. I think coin was always my favorite to go for. That was a really pretty color. That greeny, goldy, metallic goodness. Let's see if I can get a couple more down here. That one was going in the wrong direction, Katie. Let me try to pick that up a little bit. Oh my gosh, I'm a mess. There we go. Let me dry off my finger and re-swatch it a bit. I'm a mess here. It's really hard to like swatch, know where you're going, know the direction you're going, and like stay in frame and all that stuff. It's not that easy. But anyway, that's what the color looks like. I really like that greeny goldy color. It was gorgeous. A little tricky to use on the lid because it could not want to blend into the mattes too well, but it is a really pretty metallic formula. Oh, and I had another Midas Cosmetics, the La Dolce Vita palette. This baby right here, this is a gorgeous palette. While that yellow is really nice, what, uh, I'm trying to think of what honestly like captured my attention. Hmm, they're all so beautiful in this palette. I'm gonna go with Pelon. I really, really did like that green. That is a gorgeous shade and after using it a couple of times was really a shade, oh, sorry, was I even in frame? Was a shade that I was really drawn to. It's like a Christmas green. It stands out a lot on this color story, but it's definitely one that I really like. That yellow came in close. I almost picked the yellow, but I also, this was just a really fun shade that went really well with the colors that I would use out of here, especially when going with the green and whatnot. But anyway, that's just the one I picked. That's the one my eyes went to. So yeah, this is what we got going here. 
All right, next I have the Menagerie Whale Song palette. This is such a hard choice. Ugh, so many beautiful shades. Decisions, decisions. I'm gonna go with Kelp because this was definitely a favorite. Um, I was trying to almost went with the Fluke. Really enjoyed the Plankton. Also really liked, there's just, I like the whole palette, basically. Um, do you think I can fit one more? I think we can fit one more. I probably won't be in frame like last time just because I need to be able to see a little bit to swatch. <laughs> but that is uh, what I say, kelp. That is kelp right there. Basically on my elbow. <laughs> Here is what we got going. Okay, we have, let's see, one, two, three, four more palettes. I think we'll be able to fit them. I'm going to go up here now. It'll be kind of out of place. But anyway, I also have the Menagerie Feral palette, the last one in my Menagerie Cosmetics collection. And this whole color story is absolutely gorgeous, but my favorite from here has to be that yellow. Night Eyes, really, really pretty. This is also gorgeous, but it's one of her shimmers that's more of more difficult to like pick up and use. So while it's gorgeous, it's not one I like, it's not my favorite from the palette. So hence why I picked Night Eyes because Look at that gorgeous matte yellow. Yes, definitely had to pick that yellow shade, even though, I mean, there's so many in here I like. I love this row here. I love these two. Lots of gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous shades in here. Okay, then we have two from uh, Blush Tribe. This is the Hasina 2 palette, the first palette I ever tried from Blush Tribe. And the shadow that grabs my attention first, my favorite from this palette, which should I say? Oh, this is tough. I think I'd have to go with Jade. This shade right here. It was really pretty. Let's see. Oh, wait. I'm going up here now. <laughs> Forgot. No room down there. Well, that's more of like a blue. A blue green. Like a mint. That's the, the word I was looking for. Like a minty type of green. But it's so pretty. Really, really nice. Um, yeah. It's been a while since I've played with this, but I remember creating a lot of looks from it and having a really great time. I love this palette that you could go with this one palette and go, do all green look, all blue look, or an all purple look, or mix and match and really create something special. So I love the versatility in that palette. Next, I have the Blush Tribe Polina palette. This is in collaboration with Polina Beauty here on YouTube. It is looking a little rough because I've been using it a lot. Uh, my daughter has been asking me to like do butterflies and like unicorns and stuff on her face ever since she got her face painted at a, like a fall festival. <laughs> so I've been reaching for this palette because pinks and purples, the mattes, pinks and purples have been fantastic. But my favorite shade hands down in this palette is definitely Friends. This shade right here. It is so, so pretty. Make sure there's no purple <laughs> from the, uh, the purples bleeding over. Look how pretty that is. Ooh, it's just, it's gorgeous. Mm, so, 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 so pretty. I, I'm pretty sure this palette's now permanent. Maybe it's permanent, or at least they did another restock, but Polina did a fantastic job putting this palette together with Blush Tribe, and it is, it is such a gorgeous palette. That green, though, is my favorite, and... I feel like I don't really have a matte green like that in my collection. It's just so electric and neon. It's gorgeous. Okay, almost done. We have Just My Look by ColourPop. This one I almost didn't put a favorite, but when I looked at it, there are a lot of shades in here that I really like. I actually have it on my eyes today. Um, it's more of a different type of green than I prefer. I like more grungy, kind of hunter greens, but this shade Mary Jane stole my heart the moment I tried it and pretty much every time I ever used it I wanted to use that shade. I have it on my eyes today actually so this was an easy one for me when trying to decide which shadow was my favorite from the palette. Mary Jane got it. Look at that. I have it as my inner corner which has kind of faded because I put this on at like 8 this morning and it's now 2 but anyway there it is. Ooh, it pairs really nicely with that shade from the Polina palette. And very last up, I had to include the Glam Light Burger palette. Even though this is a hunker, and even though not all, not everything about this palette really impressed me and wowed me, and it, even though it looks terrible, <laughs> um, there are still a lot of shades in here that I really did like. I really did enjoy the kind of the color story and whatnot that I got from it. And if I had to pick my favorite shade, it has to be lettuce, which reminds me very much of the Mary Jane. So let's swatch them since they'll be side by side. We can settle this once and for all.
let's see, it's on my knuckles, so it's really hard to swatch. Yeah, that's almost dead on. So the lettuce is more yellow leaning, and then the Mary Jane from the ColourPop is more green leaning, but that's really the only difference. So, uh, big hunker of a Glam Light Burger palette. You better watch out. <laughs> you might get decluttered because Mary Jane is kind of taking over for that lettuce shade, which is honestly the most, it was the most unique green that I had and one of the biggest reasons I really like this palette. So that's an interesting discovery. But anyway, yeah, that is, I definitely would have to pick lettuce when I go to the burger palette. Okay, so I somehow managed to fit, what was that, 22? 24 palettes on my arm. Ooh, there we go. This is a color story that is my favorite shadows from my favorite palettes in my collection. It's very fitting. It's very beautiful. I am all about it. And honestly, everything is yellow or green leaning except for, where is it? This, this shadow right here. Literally everything else is either green or yellow to some extent. Once again, I'm so predictable. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is a lot of fun. I kind of don't want to wash this off because it's so it's so pretty and fun to look at. And yeah, I love the mix. I love the mix. I, I was surprised I got a nice mix of mattes and shimmers. Like, yeah, this would be a really pretty color story of like all my favorite shadows just smooshed into a palette and whatnot. It's really... It's a lot of fun. I cannot wait to see what Amy's palette or like her favorite shadows from her favorite palettes look like swatched out. I'm really curious. I know she likes more purples and stuff like that, but she still also likes greens and I think blues. Anyway, I cannot wait to see what she picks out and what her final swatched arm swatched looks like and also how many palettes she picked out because like I said, we just left it at like our favorite palettes. We didn't have a criteria of like just top 10 or anything. They were just favorites. I didn't want to go and stress too much about like picking a certain number. So I just, like I said, went through my collection was like, is this a favorite? Yep. Is this a favorite? Nope. That's how I decided. So I can't wait to see what Amy picks out and what uh, her palettes are that are her favorites and what her arm looks like all swatched out. So definitely make sure you go down below in my description box and check out the link to her channel after this so you can watch it. And like I said, I think you'll absolutely love her. I highly recommend you subscribing. I totally trust her reviews and her opinions. They are always spot on and very thorough and in-depth. But yeah, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and had some fun seeing what were the favorite colors from my favorite palettes. Are you at all surprised? I know no one is. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it once again. My little background looks so bare without my favorite palettes on there, so I gotta go put those back. But anyway, don't forget there is a giveaway going throughout all of the month of December. I will have the video where I kind of introed the giveaway linked in. It'll be the first link in my description box, so you can go find that video, and you can hear how to enter the giveaway, and you'll find the raffle copter form in that video and the description box and all that stuff. So definitely check that out if you are at all interested interested in entering. Thank you so much for watching. I think I already said that, but yes, I will see you very soon in my next video tomorrow.